Are you worried about climate change? So are we all, and there is only one real solution. Getting away from polluting fossil fuels and turning toward renewable energy. Many say that is simply not feasible. But did you know that it might be possible to power the entire world until 2050 using just wind farms in Europe? That's what researchers at the University of Sussex in the UK and Aarhus University in Denmark discovered. The team developed techniques to map the total potential of onshore wind energy across Europe. Their research concluded that Europe could produce 100 times more energy than it currently does from onshore wind farms alone. Using this data, they concluded that turning Europe into a giant wind farm could power all of the world's energy needs. To conduct their study, the researchers employed digital wind atlases. They sought out detailed information on wind patterns across Europe and found that 46% of Europe's land could be used for the installation of wind turbines. The researchers found that more than 11 million additional wind turbines could be placed over almost 5 million square kilometers of European terrain. Such installations could provide the entire planet with all the energy it will require as far into the future as 2050. The team is not proposing that we take this option, of course. They are simply pointing out the vast untapped potential of European wind energy. Europe is not blind to the benefits of renewable energy, however. A lot of European countries are taking the lead in producing their energy from renewables. Norway produces 98% of all its energy with renewable sources, with hydropower producing most of that. Sweden produces more than 50% of its energy needs via renewables and is aiming for 100% by 2040. Almost 100% of the electricity produced in Albania comes from hydropower sources. Germany set an ambitious target to get 65% of their electricity from renewables by 2030. And finally, Denmark gets more than half of its electricity from wind and solar power. Meanwhile, Europe has a target of increasing the share of renewable energy in final energy consumption to 20% by 2020 and to at least 32% by 2030, with a potential upwards revision in 2023. This means that use of renewable energy is on the rise all over the continent. Will Europe 2020's target be met? And will it be enough to mitigate climate change? One can only hope. In the meantime, countries outside the EU are also leading the way in terms of renewable energy. Costa Rica aims to be completely carbon neutral by the year 2021 and has succeeded in running on 100% renewable energy for more than two months, twice in the last two years. Nicaragua aims to be 90% renewables powered by the year 2020. Since 2015, Uruguay has boasted a national energy supply that's 95% renewables powered, achieved in less than 10 years. China is the world's biggest investor in renewable energy. Morocco is building the world's biggest concentrated solar plant. In fact, most countries are investing in clean energy one way or another. Which brings us to the question, could the planet someday be powered by 100% renewable energy? Stanford professor of civil and environmental engineering Mark Z. Jacobson thinks so. He has long argued that many countries could move to providing all electricity and heat using 100% renewable energy, namely wind, water, and solar power. In his research, he has shown that renewable energy sources can be scaled up in cost-effective ways to fulfill the planet's energy demands. He has also published papers for a select number of U.S. states on transitioning to 100% renewable energy by 2050. Is this really a possibility? The science seems to support Jacobson's plans. 
Now it's just a question of getting the policies in place to make the transition.